not subscribe you peeps it's Delph Mickey Quill and I've got a quick little haul for you today so these are goodies that I purchased at the Flutter by Create by the Lake retreat that I went to a couple of weeks ago now and I taught some classes there and I bought myself some goodies because where I live there's only one local scrapbook store and they don't have all of these brands um, and it's just a nice excuse to treat yourself when you go to a retreat so first up I fell in love with this. Um, this is the Wild at Heart collection kit from Coco Vanilla and Zoe, who's the amazing creator of Coco Vanilla, uh, was actually at the retreat as well. So I got to see her and she's just beautiful. She got some Archie snuggles and she's just a really, really sweet lady. So if you're an Aussie girl and you haven't checked out Coco Vanilla Studio, they're an Aussie company and her designs are just beautiful. I've worked with a few bits and pieces from her before and I've got a heap of her boy collections um, for Archie's album when I start that. So there's a lot of papers and you get a sticker sheet and you can see that I... <laughs> I destroyed some of it while I was at the retreat working on my wedding album. So that's the first bit I got. And then I told myself I was never going to buy any more like Project Lifey card kit things, but I couldn't resist this one. So this is by Webster's Pages and the packaging has gone. Um, but it's actually like a planner stationery that's how they market it so it's got some pocket life cards and they're all just to give you an idea I'll do a quick flip I won't do a flip of them all but they're all they've got some gold foil and they're cute and there's some deers and I really liked the date stamp it's got a nice font to it some chipboard pieces some little cards some washi so I just had a few few cute little pieces that I thought would be good for my traveler's notebook to put with my stuff for that then I grabbed some random papers. So this is uh, from Love Always Coco Vanilla and it's called Frolic. I got, this is before I found the collection kit. So I did get some Wild at Heart extras and then I got the, the kit, that one too. And then I got this vellum from the Wild at Heart and I thought this would be beautiful to use in Archie's um, album. So stay tuned for that one. And then I've got my box here. Uh, let's see, I finally got an 8x8 album and I'm so excited. So um, this is the gold glittery 8x8 album. And I think, it's safe to say my mum and dad won't watch this video. They watch the vlogs, but they don't watch this channel very often. Oh, they, they tune in for the streams, but not for these videos. Um, I think I'm going to make them a Archie album for Christmas. So that will be handy for that. Sorry about the glare. I'll just move that over. I grabbed, well, I remember this stamp set which is beautiful and I've been watching I think I'm pretty sure Lisa Oxley on um, Instagram she was at the retreat as well and she's an incredible artist and I'm pretty sure she uses these stamps and they're stunning and I've been wanting that stamp set ever since I saw her playing around with it so I'm glad I got that I grabbed two paints get ready for it it's green it's a dark like emerald green it's beautiful so this is polished jade and funky fuchsia in the dilutions I also these were 50% off these are just some pocket page cards that I want to put in my traveler's notebook set and I like them because they're square I'm just so sick of the curved edges of the project life brand I'm just I'm done with curves I, I want straight <laughs> um, this is from the you are rad uh, you rock sorry you rock collection from coco vanilla and i couldn't resist it because a awesome i thought that's going straight in archie's scrapbook so they're little rubber embellishments that are really sweet i also got the coco vanilla free spirit little enamel dots and shapes and these i've been on the hunt of these for these for a while they're the snap uh pocket photo flip pocket so it's a it's like a single pocket that you can adhere to your um, pocket page protectors so that you can add extra photos in. So I had the 3x4 size but I'd run out of these so I got those. My battery died. So I also grabbed these little rubber embellishments that are really really sweet and um, some more enamel dots. And was that it from there? I feel like I got something else. Oh, this. 
I got a Tim Holtz stencil and it's called, I don't know, THS083, maybe? Oh, grid dot layering stencil. There you go. Thought that would be cool. And it's and it's interesting how their the shape changes the the dots. It's a bit trippy on the eyes, but I thought that'd look really nice in my art journal. So that was from scrapbooking from scratch, which was uh, at the retreat. Peter brings her shop. It's portable. Uh, she brings it to the retreat, which is nice. And then these other goodies that I got are from Flutterby Designs, which is by Anita, who was running the retreat. And I got some really cute stencils from her. So first up, I got these little page tab thingies, and I started using those. Then these are... Now I'm going to have to show you it doesn't look like anything here <laughs> they're printed designs but they're whole reinforcers which would look really cute on tags so I got a pack of those so this is all by Flutterby Designs if you go over to their website this next part and then oh this was from Peter as well that's a 6x6 stencil by the Crafters Workshop and it's called mini celebration bouquet these ones are all from anita and she designs them and makes them and they're just gorgeous so i got some mustaches because i couldn't resist the mustaches i got these ones that i'm really i have an idea for these and i can't wait to use it so these are macaroon five and then oh, these are going to be hard to see i need to put it on something Will this work? Yeah, there you go. So these are some X's and O's, and these stencils are very thick, so they're great for modelling paste. I got some tiny little hearts. You know I can't resist a tiny heart. I got this one, which says all nice words. And some stars, because a lot of the stars ones I have, they're in weird formations so i don't go to use them very often uh, this is just a random spot one bubble of fun and this one i got for aaron it's like a circuit looks like a circuit board and i can't wait to use that on a background of him and archie uh, and this one which is called mmm pie <laughs> and the alphabet and then I also got these tiny word stickers, which are very, very bright and colourful and kind of an arty theme. And then I got some other tiny word stickers, which I won't show because there's a few naughty words on there. Um, Anita's things are beautiful. They do have some naughty words sometimes. These ones don't. Um, but I don't mind a little, a little cheekiness every now and then. Uh, so I got those. And then Aaron went shopping and Aaron got, where is it? I've lost it. Where did it go? Hang on a minute. So Aaron grabbed these, which are really cool. They're big foam stamps. And he also got this, which is a pack full of, it's called Collector. It's a pack full of like little ephemera pieces. And he got another one as well, but it must have been with his stuff, I think. I don't know where that one went, but yeah. So that's all the goodies that I got. I kind of spoilt myself. Um, but I thought that I'd treat myself because I got the braveness to the courage and the braveness, new word, to teach the classes at the retreat I was a bit nervous about. So it's a present for me from me. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below um, what projects you'd like me to do with these. Would you like to see some Project Life? Would you like to see some art journaling on my second channel? Let's get inky. What would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.